Today, we are gonna make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not gonna be that kind of grass. It's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, your models have practically built Stir themselves. <laughs> Folks, it's Mad Dog Merv. Welcome to the Kit Hoarder Stash. Today, I've got an interesting one. The USS Pensacola in 1 350th scale. This is a 3D printed product. Uh, this is the 1941 version of the Pensacola class. So, <clears throat> let's open it up and take a look. Just so that you folks know, I got it from uh, a vendor in China. I got it off of eBay. It took me two weeks to get it, which is amazing. A lot of times you'll be on eBay, you'll see something you want to buy, and it'll give you like two or three months out to get something from China. Um, these guys estimated that it'd be two weeks, and sure enough, it was two weeks. So let's take a look at the instructions first. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is unfortunately the instruction sheet um, so I'm trying to make heads or tails of what this is supposed to mean and it looks like that's the part there and it looks like here's the part here and you know I'm gonna try to figure this out the best that I can um, <laughs> okay uh, the instructions are definitely not a strong point in this kit. I will say that. Uh, they kind of color code. Like here's the 525s. Here's this <clears throat> uh, AFTA one deck. Um, you know, boats, different different parts, the guns. So we'll see. We'll open this up and take a look. But that's that's the directions. I'm not too. Um, how can I put it? I'm very skeptical at that point. So I open up the box, and the first thing I get is this resin cast hull. And, I mean, you can see it. Instead of being bowed this way, it's bowed this way. <clears throat> and I'll get you a better shot. I'll put it on the glass here and give you a better shot. But here's... But here's my uh, my uh, heartbreak here. I'm looking at the, the deck planking, and if I have a 350, one 350 scale figure, they could fall down the cracks between the planking. Um, I, I have no clue who SS has doing their molds. Or they're not their molds, but they're well, they're their masters um, that's a fail that's a fail right there sorry I mean it I'm gonna say it how it is um, that's like it's like 70 second scale look at those okay so we got to figure out what to do from there by the way this just so you know it's only Waterline. It does not come with a full hole option at all. I did not read the description close enough. Um, and it's not like they put in great big letters, waterline only. You know, that would have been helpful. I guess they figure people will actually read the description and look at the picture. Because, you know, the, plainly on the picture here, it shows it as waterline. But, you know, we're modelers and usually we have to be led a little bit better. So I figured there would be a full hole, but there's not. And for the price I paid for it, and I'll let you know, with shipping, it was a little over $100, so not bad. Um, okay, but, you know, for the price, I, I got what I paid for. So there's that. 
Now let's open up the box itself and get into all of these parts. <clears throat> and there's a lot here. So give me just a minute. I'm going to unpack this and then we'll look at the parts. Okay, so it took about 10 minutes to get it all out of the uh, all out of the bubble wrap. So they all came wrapped in a little bag like this, sealed bag, and then just around it. So I think the a great effort was made to keep to keep it safe. I mean, you know how these are so fragile. So with that said, let's take a look at the parts. <clears throat> Here is. I'm not sure which deck this is. One of the aft decks, I believe, and the boats. Uh, it's kind of hard to see till I take it out of there completely, which is going to take some time because I want to do it carefully. I don't want to break anything. But the 3D printed part looks great. Here's my gun barrels for my main battery. And they even have, uh, maybe you can't see them, the little holes in the end of them. Look just as good as a brass barrel, in my opinion. Searchlight platform, uh, ladders, cranes. The cranes are very well detailed. Um, it's hard to see anything. But, yeah, definitely, definitely well detailed, what you'd expect in a 3D part. Your main bridge, your gun directors. The gun directors look great. Uh, anchor looks good. Searchlights look good. So here's your main bridge. Again, it's hard to see with all this stuff around it. But it, me being able to look at it, I mean, the rivet detail on the directors is even there. So, you know, great quality on that. <laughs> Boats, again, great quality. Um... It's hard for you to see that, I know, but the the planking on it looks great. I mean, wow, great, great job on these. Um, I'm really not sure what they were trying to do here. So this this broke off. Um, so I'm gonna have to fill this in because I don't know what the heck they were trying to do. The detail all looks good. I mean, the 525s look beautiful, but here. I don't know if they were trying to replicate a deck or what, but uh, okay, I can fill that in. Other than that, the detail of the parts look amazing. You know what to come to expect from 3D printing. Uh, is this conning tower and uh, funnel? The the float plane. Uh, Floats are here. I mean, the detail on the funnel looks good. You know, so far, beautiful. Um, so even though I'm, these were wrapped really well, let me just say that. Um, this one's not even formed right, I don't think. Okay, let's just pull this out. This is your... Uh, Ugh. Well, <laughs> one of my one of my float planes, yeah, it's uh, not doing so hot. Um, but the parts are in here for it. Ugh. So I'm just pulling the parts out for it. Yikes! It it took a little beating. Um. Again, trying to simulate this funky deck. Oh, there's part of a wing. Um, the supports, and they're broken on that side, so I'll have to, wow. Uh, the supports here, they're broken. I'll have to try and dig them out of here. Okay. But, you know, it's a long, tr it's a long, it's a long journey by boat. Um, but my, my concern is the angle of this thing. It just it does not look like it's formed right. And it looks to be dished. So we're going to check this out 
closer here in a few minutes. Um, but I'm concerned that that part may be defective. And, you know, I'm sure I can contact the company because they, they did put a little thing in here. You know, take a look at everything. Uh, don't know where I put it. But anyway, it says, yeah, take a look at anything. If there's any problems, you know, let us know. So they seem very uh, genuine about making sure that your kit is, um, is proper. So that's good. Um, again, same funky deck. Uh, one of the ladders is broken. I'll have to find that. But otherwise, I mean, the winch detail on here is great. Um, quite a few of these, by the way, quite a few of these um, are definitely damaged in transit. So there's a couple more boats and the, uh, the catapults. Gun mounts. Oh, this looks nice. This is uh, a bunch of little details in here. Uh, life rafts mostly, but uh, the forward mast, and it looks it looks great. We even tried to mold 50 caliber machine guns in there. Uh, didn't work so well, <laughs> but yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. Thank goodness. And then finally, the last piece I have here is in pieces. This one, yeah, not so much. It really took some, some damage. And unfortunately, this turret is foobard. So there's one I have to write to. Him. Just saying you shouldn't have to, okay? You shouldn't have to should be some quality check all that kind of stuff maybe this maybe this was from being in transit I don't know but that just doesn't look like it's formed right to begin with anyway so here's the four turrets on the ones that are good the quality the, um, the details all look really good on that um, and then here's another one of the smokestacks and the trunnions for the guns are in here. Ugh. So I'm going to have to take all this out and take a better look at it. I am very concerned about the look of this. It just doesn't even look right. So we'll check that out. Okay, you've got to be kidding me. Look at this. Seriously. Wow. Wow. All right. Yeah, I was right. This thing is way, way out of shape. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And as it turns out, they're just misshapen. This is not from damage from being in the in the wafer. Wow. So I did contact the company and long story short after a couple of different emails and I sent them a picture they said that they will make it right and so we'll see how long it takes and how that goes. We'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for joining us on the stash today and join me next week.